just here with uh, customer to look at Paul McShane. Paul, uh, it's been a fantastic season so far. How have you seen it? Oh, mate, it's been, it's been outstanding. Uh, I think from the club's been building for three or four years now, so for us to be where we're at, it's been hard work. And I think in pre-season, we kind of realised that we could achieve something special this year. And as a group, I think it's showed in, in how we've played. We've got that confidence and belief. I think Luke Gale said to me a couple of weeks back, I mean, one of the things... I guess one of the secrets of the sex, everyone seems to really enjoy each other's company. It's a really tight group and you see that out on the field, um, just sort of the, the joy and the fun that you guys have out there. Yeah, yeah, we're a, we're a good bunch and we kind of understand each other as well as understand how we want to play as a, as a team as well and that chemistry definitely shows. But yeah, I think it, it helps massively if you enjoy each other's company and personally for me, it's I've probably enjoyed a little bit more so having my full career. So. It's good. Yeah, and your your game this year has been been great. I mean, last year you had to spend a bit of time in the halves. You were sort of chopping and changing, but you've, it seems like you've taken your, your game to a new level this season. Yeah, yeah, it's just probably been more consistent than all. Uh, and, and like I say, enjoying myself. I have a good few chats with Pauli in off-season and end of last season and where he wants me to be and telling me that I've got so much more left in my game and to hear that from your coach, it's pretty promising and encouraging. And, I've just enjoyed it. I, I like the way we play, the style of play suits me, and I get on well with Gailey, Benny, as, as main halves as well. So we, we're good. We, we click. And you're you're in line for sort of selection, the dream team. Have you done anything different? In, you know how you prepare for games or anything? You know you do in, in training or anything? Anything you've been working on specifically? No, I think it's just more being more relaxed in the game. As a as a young kid, I was probably a bit erratic, and that that probably showed in my performances. But now, I, like I said, I've got a good understanding of the type of game that I want to play and that suits our, our style of play so it's, it's good. You've been sort of tipped for a you know, possible England spot, what would that mean to you to you know, to get a uh, you know, selection for the World Cup? Oh mate, it'd be massive, uh, I'd be absolutely chuffed to bits, especially I'd probably thought the time had passed when I was around 24, 25, I wasn't playing great but coming coming to CAS and working with everyone involved at CAS it's, it's made me believe that I, I can do that again. Well, it seems like um, you know with Daryl Clark being injured and Josh Hodgson hasn't had the the best season. There's there's definitely you know space there, and you seem to be you know one of the form hookers in, in Super League this year. Yeah, yeah, and there's probably hookers that are in squad that are probably in with a shout as well. We, we're pretty we're doing all right as a country based on nines, but yeah, all I all I want to do is keep playing well for Cass and hopefully that can can get me in there. A, a big game this uh, this Friday against Leeds. Your your old club always. Uh, it's a nice rivalry that, that Cass and Leeds have. Yeah, yeah, I still speak with a lot of lads as well. Uh, a couple of times, Danny Mags has fell out with me after games as well. But no, they've, they've done really well this year, especially bouncing back from last year. And to be up in top two, they're definitely a threat, challenging this year. Yeah, they're sitting in second, I think, at the moment. You've beaten them three times this year. Obviously, the, the massive hiding, uh, I think, back in was it February or March in the season. So um, they, they'll be sort of desperate to, uh, to get one over you guys. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably... It's that time of year where you you want to be playing your best your best footy really, and they're going to come here wanting to knock us off. But we're we're wanting to keep the momentum to build towards the semi final as well. So I think it'll be a great game. Each game's probably got closer and tighter. So uh, whoever's on the game on the day is going to win it.